Hello folks, Junkie Rod 13 here. Everything vaping related, it's Junkie Rod 13. Her real name's Ross Sanders, and I'm here bringing you a quick little look on the Ego slash Kago variable voltage device. Um, the device hasn't been bad to me, for me. Uh, let me take a quick read. And um, talk about it. Do a quick little close-up of it and uh, have a special offer from the Plume Room. This device was sent to me from the Plume Room and I have a little um, special little offer and we'll see what we got. Alrighty folks, so here goes the Ego slash Kago variable voltage battery device and this comes from the Plum Room. Alright, this is the box that it comes in. You notice the color of the device is up here, which is the black one. This is just a cardboard slide box. Open it up and in here we have the device. I'm going to set that down right there and show you what else comes in here. Take out the bottom piece. We have a charging cable. Okay, I'll put that right here. A little instruction card. Now this is a very nice instruction card. It gives you nice instructions if you're not familiar with it. And what else do we have in here? Uh, just a uh, quality control checker card. All right, so we'll discuss the um, USB connector cable. That's a very long connector cable. I think it is around four feet and on the end you'll notice that one end is a regular USB cable connector and on the other end we have a US E6 um, connector now it's not the same size as your cell phones or anything like your mp3 players this is kind of um, some some cameras actually have this connector but it's smaller than the regular ones so you will be needing this one you can't use your regular cable to charge this one and um, you can use this as a pass-through so it is nice and long so you can hook it up to your cigarette lighter in your car or your computer and you can vape at your desk so I'm gonna set this off to the side and let's talk about the device and take it out of here throw that off to the side <clears throat> all right it's got the common look of the ego battery okay and if you notice up here there is an ego encrusted signature mark there it says ego with a little crown there and a V for the variable voltage here is your switch your activator switch, your power switch, okay, and it has the five click, one, two, three, four, five, which is off, and then one, two, three, four, five is on, and that's really nice for pocket friendly, so it won't activate in your pocket. But because this device, the button is so flush with the device, um, I haven't had this issue. Um, I usually haven't been turning off this device in my pocket. Here is a standard Ego 510 connector. So you can fit things like your Stardust with the little skirt on the bottom. It will go right down over that. And also you can take a standard 510 cardomizer or atomizer and it will also take that too. Okay. Set that off to the side now. Um, there's a uh, regular ego feel. Feels like a rubbery, um, smooth, satiny feel. Very nice. I've always liked the texture of the ego. Kind of always made me feel like it was rubber and it wasn't going to be harmed. But I've had them scratch up. Then down here we have a positive 
and negative. On this side, you have we are positive, which will adjust your voltage up, and a negative, which will adjust the voltage down. Okay, and it has a nice little blue LED light in there. And what's very nice about this, I love this feature on it, is right there you have a battery um, to tell you your battery level. And that has been so nice because with many Ego devices, you vape them until the battery dies. And that's been an annoying little thing for me because you can be out and about and next thing you know your device is dead. And What's nice about this is the pass-through is you can vape this while it's plugged in. That's always been nice. And then here on the bottom, it's probably scratched up because I'm always setting it down, but you have the USB connector down there. Come on, focus, okay? All right. So I am not going to get into any of the numbers with this device, um, meaning I'm not going to talk about under load uh, for 4 volts, you're getting 3.9 under load, I'm not going to be talking about any of that because Phil Basardo has done an awesome, awesome table on this device, on both this and um, he, he, he actually did a video on the Ego variable voltage and the Kago. Now this is the exact same look as the Kago that he did and the Ego it has a little bit different type buttons but from what I've been told by a few vendors or excuse me by a few suppliers um, that sells these is that the Ego variable voltage and the Kago variable voltage are the same exact device except for um, maybe different buttons. One has a metal button and other ones have plastic buttons um, or it's inscripted with Kago or Ego. That's pretty much the same. The only thing that are different. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's talk about this switch because this switch has been some controversy. Some people don't like the switch. Some people like it. I have had no issues with the switch except for trying to find it in the dark. Um, usually you feel up and you feel your switch and then you press it but this is so flush with the device you really can't feel it so you have to actually like push for it that has been one annoying thing for me but it has been firing every single time I push it the one thing about this little rubber strip down here is it actually is a removable piece I'm not going to take it out all the way, but I'm going to show you. Okay, you can actually take it out and look on the inside in there and see the actual circuit board power switch in there. Okay, so if this thing does break or fails, I'm sure they will have replacements sometime in the future. I haven't seen any yet, but they will have them. So what I'm going to do is just put a Stardust on here. show you what it looks like bring down the voltage or bring up the voltage because this is a 2.2 ohm stardust so I'm going to bring it up to around 4.2 okay there you go and we're going to vape it and talk a little bit about it okay so there you have it there is the close-up of the ego slash kgo device um, now, I did speak to a supplier from China that does sell these. Um, I didn't speak to them personally, I spoke to them through emails, and I asked them what the differences are between the Ego and the Kago. Um, they sell both of them, this particular supplier. And what they told me was the Ego and the Kago are pretty much the same exact device. And they said that their earlier versions had metal buttons 
and the newer versions had plastic buttons. Ones were stamped with Ego, ones were stamped with Keiko. So depending on if you bought them uh, a couple months ago, they would have the metal buttons, and if you bought the newer ones, they would have the plastic buttons. That's what they said. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, they could have just told me that. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm going with. Um, this one has the plastic buttons, so I'm assuming it's the newer version, if there is a newer version. But I think they're pretty much the same. Now, I know Phil Bersardo's video, his table, when he did all the numbers with the different atomizers and cartomizers, the Ego and the Kago variable voltage device, the numbers were almost exactly the same. That being said, I'm going with they are the same device. So, let's talk about this one. Now, I've had this for about three weeks, and it hasn't been treating me bad. I know a few people have been complaining about the switch, about the activation button. How it's nice how it's flush and some of them been complaining about this little rubber band um, type thing I have experienced no issues with it except for it being flat and I have to in the dark I have to feel for it that's the only issue I have with the switch um, now this has been a great little device I like keeping it in the vehicle and using it as a pass-through device because um, when I use this with higher voltages it tends to die out quicker um, I took it out one day and I had it set at like 5 volts and it was dead the battery died in about 5 hours I think it was it was right around five hours so if I was at work and this was my only device and I was vaping all day long it would have been dead by the end, by the end of the day um, but with the pass-through wire I could basically just hook this up plug it into a computer or a cigarette lighter and vape while it's plugged in and it's charging and I'm vaping at the same time so that is one unique feature that I really like about that I like all the new egos the pass-throughs I like all the devices that are pass-throughs um, I always have a pass-through next to my computer and I always have a pass-through in the vehicle so I won't run out of batteries but this has been treating me very well uh, this is a 2.2 ohm Stardust on here and I have it set at 4.2 volts. Let me show you how it vapes. It vapes great. But of course, that's mainly the Stardust doing the... Uh, vapor production but the switch has been firing non-stop it hasn't gave me any misfires um, it's a 650 milliamp uh, battery so it's a smaller battery some people are used to the thousand milliamp hours or the milli 1100 milliamp hours so this is a smaller battery but it has the capability of going from 3 volts up to 6 volts that's one nice feature if you feel like checking them out, go to the plume room and check them out. But I haven't had no issues with it. But if you do go to the plume room, here's my special offer. Um, the owner of the plume room contacted me and we were talking and she said, I would like to do a little special um, sale while, you got, while you're doing your video. So what you can do is offer your viewers 15% off anything in the store on the site. And let me tell you something. I don't do juice reviews. I don't do juice reviews because um, what I like, you may not. 
and what you like I may not um, so I don't do juice reviews but the plume room has very very good tasting juice um, I love their lemon chiffon actually that's what's in this stardust right now um, they have a few other flavors they have a peanut butter pie um, they have a frappuccino um, their creamy mint is awesome and their melons is great so if you want to check out their juice 15% uh, off now that's gonna last through the month of November and the code is junkie rock what else um, so go over to the plum room um, if you want to pick up a Kago it's it's listed as a Kago v uh, variable voltage you want to pick one up pick one up I think they're around $25.99 and with the 15% off they come down to around $23 um, which is a decent price for a variable voltage device and um, pick up some juice their juice is pretty good so um, you know check them out I want to say though the plume room has awesome customer service um, I've bought a few things from them and their shipping is great and like I said their juice is great but I'm not reviewing their juice so that's the Ego Variable Voltage slash Kago Variable Voltage from the Plume Room. All right, folks, take care. Keep vaping and make sure you subscribe up above and comment down below on this video. Take care, everybody.